If you don't think Saturday Night Live is funny anymore, you're certainly not the only one. Because Chevy Chase, one of the show's biggest former stars, just ripped SNL as, quote, the worst effing humor in the world. In an interview with the Washington Post, he said, quote, first of all, between you, me, and a lamppost, I don't want to put down Lauren or the cast, but I'll say maybe off the record, I'm amazed that Lauren, the executive producer, has gone so low. I had to watch a little of it, and I just couldn't effing believe it. The show, which in recent seasons has played largely into politics by constantly mocking the Trump administration, has maintained steady ratings in recent seasons. Not that that means anything to Chase. Quote, that means a whole generation of heads laughs at the worst effing humor in the world. You know what I mean? How could you dare give that generation worse than they already have in their lives? It drives me nuts. Even Jay Leto says that the late night comedy shows today are quote, depressing. <laughs> the Washington Examiner just published this article asking what happened to late night comedy. I'll tell you what happened. They all lost their minds on election night 2016 and instead of doing monologues, now they do anti-Trump editorials every night. But who needs a late night talk show to have a good laugh when we can just read through some actual headlines from the liberal media. Headlines like this, quote, I stopped going to the gym because of Trump. Now I can't open jars. Or this one, do you boast about your fitness? Watch out, you'll unavoidably become right wing. I'm not sure what exercise does for your body, but I do know what it does to your personality, and it's not pretty. <laughs> and let's not forget about this one from the Washington Post. Another hurricane is about to batter our coast, and Trump is complicit. New York Magazine is now saying that comedy doesn't need to be funny. Comedians and comedy writers are increasingly pushing the bounds of what it means for something to be comedy in the most basic sense, rewiring the relationship between comedies and jokes. So what is comedy without jokes? It's post-comedy. Post-comedy uses elements of comedy, be it stand-up, sitcom, or film, but without the goal of creating the traditional comic result, laughter. Instead, focusing on tone, emotional impact, storytelling, and formal experimentation. The goal of being funny is optional for some or the entirety of the piece. Well, now I know why Stephen Colbert couldn't get me to laugh to save his life. And poor Jimmy Fallon is being shunned by the Hollywood elite because he doesn't trash Trump enough. The New York Times says that Jimmy Fallon was on top of the world and then came Trump. In fact, it's widely believed in the industry that the Emmys have been snubbing him because of that one time several years ago that he had Donald Trump on his show and was too nice to him and normalized him by playing with his hair. By the way, speaking of Saturday Night Live, Kanye West was the musical guest this weekend and he wore his Make America Great Again hat. And then after his performance, he revealed that the producers bullied him trying to get him to not wear the hat. But that part didn't make it on air because they cut him off. His producer recorded this video of one of the monitors in the green room showing what didn't make it on air. They bullied me. They bullied me backstage. They said, don't go out there with that hat on. They bullied me backstage. They bullied me. And then they say, I'm in a sunken place. You want to see the sunken place? Okay. I'm going to listen to y'all now. I'm gonna put my Superman cape on. Cause this means you can't tell me what to do. 90% of news are liberal. 90% of TV, LA, New York, writers, rappers, musicians. So it's easy to make it seem like it's so, so, so one-sided. Yep, can't allow that to get on air to whoever's still watching Saturday Night Live. And that's why censorship of conservatives on social media is going supernova. So thanks for all the support, guys. If you enjoy these videos, go to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check out my online store and get yourself one of my awesome shirts like the new JFK Trump shirt, the vintage Abraham Lincoln Trump shirt, the liberalism find a cure shirt, all sorts of cool stuff over there. Your purchase helps keep this channel going. So thanks for your support. Check back tomorrow for a new report and I will see ya soon.